Hello everyone and welcome back to Essentials.tf. Today we're joined again for these uh, Premiership qualifiers. We've got plenty of games to get through. This is only the third. There's two more to go after this one. This is the lower bracket round one for seeing who is going to be the first team eliminated from these Prem qualifiers. We've got Plum Court Records and we've got Alien Workshop, both of them having a rough time in their first round games. I think we've got one round between the two of them in their opening matchups, but now battling it out. They've got one last lifeline. See if they can stay in, perhaps, to have a run in at getting into Prem in this following season. My name's Ben Plow. We've got J-Max pressing the buttons, and I'm joined by Delta for the cast. How are you doing, Delta? I am doing great. Thanks for shouting me out there. It's been a while since I've casted a non-NA game, so, you know, I'm excited to be here. I've seen a couple of the casts recently, and I really like the style these teams have been putting forward, so I think it's going to be really exciting. Yeah, for sure. There's lots to prove for the two of them, right? Like, obviously not had the ideal results coming into this, so, like, again, they face against each other. One of them is going to come forth with a win, and one of them is going to keep their, their dream alive, perhaps making it into, a, into Prem, but yeah, all to play for. Definitely. And I believe the first map is going to be Gully Wash. Definitely all-time favorite both both of these teams should have a lot of experience on this map so i'm really expecting a lot of crazy plays to come out and really just want to see which one of these teams gets us started off with the win yeah one thing that's quite interesting to see about this um, this pick man is that i believe of the three maps that are coming through none of them have been played yet in the qualifiers which would make sense because any of them the, the teams that are playing now have lost every game so far so to pick a map now that you'd already lost would be a bit weird, but um, we're seeing their Plum Corp fanning out uh, products early. They got absolutely swept yesterday against Skedder on that product game, and they were they were thoroughly outclassed. They're banning that out early, not wanting any more of that. I'm going to pick Gully Watch instead. A very different flavor of a map, like you say. There's plenty of audacious plays you can go for. One of the more, I guess, of the five CSP maps, it can be a bit faster. A bit more of the uh, the opportunity for the soldiers to go in for something crazy and last as well. There's all sorts of wacky things you can do. But um, yeah, Gully Wash first, then Sunshine being picked up by Alien Workshop, and if required, we'll be going to Granary to finish off the series. Mm -hmm. I think this pick really shows that Plump Corp has some confidence in their explosive classes. Maybe they want to, you know, scouts can still do a lot on this map, but if you pick Gully Wash, you have to have a lot of faith in your demo man. So I'd be expecting Natty Newt is kind of the player I'm going to be looking out for. Seems like that's the player they're kind of relying on here a bit. Yeah, demos and gully wash is, is the dream map, right? There's all those tight choke points and stuff. The, uh, the last point is great. Basically, every, every point of this map is, is real, real good fun for the demo if things are going well. And yeah, Nassim, I guess, not known for being a demo in the top divisions. Last was in Prem on um, on Medic over on the team called Natty Newt back a few seasons ago, but has since come back now and back rejuvenated and uh, on a new class. But yeah, Natty Newt clearly feeling, uh, feeling comfortable with this one because yeah, like the demo can have such good fun on gully wash. Mm -hmm, definitely. And we do have 12 in the server, so we'll probably be going live soon. Now, you probably know better than I do. How many, do you know how many of these players have been in Prem before? Um, honestly, on both the teams, not that many. So I mentioned Natty Newt was on Medic over on um, over on the team called Natty Newt back like three seasons ago. Hexieri was scout on that team as well. So that's two players over on the, the Plum Cup record side that have got a bit of previous experience. Eon was Medic as well, actually, last season over on Havoc. But I think the rest of the players are a bit newer. The scene, even Eon, I think that was the first season in Prem as well. They've got maybe like three seasons among them total at the, at the top. It's uh, they, they've got some experience, but not too much. Um, but speaking of experience, on the other side, I think probably Sneaky is maybe the one who's uh standing out to some degree, has had some really good performances in Prem in the last couple of seasons. Um, some of those on Flank Scout, some on Pocket Scout, I believe, is uh now moving over to Pocket Scout for this uh for this team, but yeah, I think experience wise, it's pretty even. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. super awesome. Here we have some new blood players then. So not going to be, you know, those players we've seen for the past five years. These teams, up-and-comers, they've got something to prove. And we are going live now. Something to prove, so let's see which of them is able to prove it. And for Pump Court Records, this is the map that they've chosen. Like we said, they're thinking they've got a point to prove over on Gully Wash. So let's see what they decide to go for. All right, I'm watching Naughty Newt. Pretty passive at the start, doesn't want to get bombed here, just shooting those stickies into Big Door. So far, it looks like both teams are really aggressive. We see a soldier going to the other team's elbow. Yeah, Tavi down. Both soldiers down, though, for Punk Wrench. Not even dead as well, got bombed by Kansuke. 
and then we see Usti chasing through Choke, finding this one lone scout. Can the scout win this 1v1? Jumps to Choke. Gonna get cleaned up. That did not go Plump Wrench's way. Yeah, absolutely not. Tabby goes down early and early works. It's looking so good for them, right? They're so, so bad for them. And then they just crunch in. They get all that damage over towards the elbow and just run across the point, catch out those players standing on the platform and just chase down. And it's a full wipe. What a way to start out your opponent's map pick, getting a big wipe on mid, only a minute played. Massive ad going into last already. Yeah, massive ad, as you said. It looks like Alien has already gotten set up in River. They have all six of their team in here. Now they're just splitting up into lobby, and it looks like they're going to be taking this in, leading with their combo scout, spawning their soldier through. They find that sentry gun. It's going to be delayed because there's a pyro on the side of Plump Corp. Maybe it down finally, low. Yeah, finally goes down. Pyro alone, but no one's on points. Sneaky, living up to his name, that scout just stood on point, and apparently no one on Plump Corp knew. Yeah, it looks okay, Plump Corp. They, were, they got a pick on the way in, the gun stayed alive for uncomfortably too long, but there was no one quite able to get down onto that point and block it, and like you say, Sneaky just sneaks through past everyone, and just after you would just think, you know what, there's no one on the point, I'll just stand on it myself, and less than two minutes played, and Alien Workshop have had the dream start. Yeah, this mid, Kosuke again, fast rolling out, lower right, and it looks like he's going to be going oh, yeah, up the other teams. Trouble. Up the drop down, that soldier's up drop down, he's spotted now, taking the fight in choke. Kosuke though, is just causing so much of a distraction, and Alien just oh, ran across crunched. point. Yeah, as you said, they're getting crunched here. Sneaky, all the way in on scout, gets on Eon, that's gonna be medic down. Not even trying to reload pills, but he just, every direction they look, there's just a player. But Nashi gets, I, a, gets a medic kill though with the stickies over the top straight into Lucky. That's like one salvage that they managed. They didn't manage that last time. So I guess that's something they can take away from this over the Pumcorp side. But like you say, they're just caught all on their own platform again, just getting swarmed from all possible angles. It's kind of a miracle they managed to get that kill over onto Lucky because otherwise that could have been an utter disaster of a mid. But now, going to be getting medic spawning at roughly the same amount of time. So, um,. Uber's going to be sitting at about even, definitely an improvement on last time from Plum Court, but still it was dangerous, dangerous times for them, and that could have gone a lot worse. Yeah, it could have. I was surprised Natty Newt managed to get that kill. I didn't think he was going to find anything but death, but no, gets that kill before going back to the spawn room. We see both teams building the Ubers. Ubers are basically even here, and it's going to be two soldiers choke. That is the standard hold we have seen in recent times. Demos in Big Door. Want to see what aliens got for us? It looks like they're just sending some spam in choke, but they're getting so much hit. damage. Yeah, so much damage, but they don't care. He's just in. Gets cleaned up. Yeah, lots of damage on both those pairs of soldiers. That I think the Suki maybe thought there was an opportunity there to maybe try and sneak in, but actually it's Yekin who's doing the sneaking, going all the way down into drop down, but no, gets spotted out. Just be able to deal with that one now, meaning one player down on either side, I think. Plumcock was thinking about maybe going for a play around towards Big Door, but for the bailout, on each side, you know what, we're a soldier down now, we're the ones that have to retreat and hold up tight and turtle up, and it's actually over the side of the Alien Workshop, and I'm try and bust this Big Door. Yeah, super aggressive there, ran into Natty Nuke, the demo, who I believe is almost out of ammo here, they shot so many stickies, but Alien doesn't want to keep pushing that, they backed up, and it looks like they're going to try the same door as Kosuke went behind through Shutter, went down, and the alien has just already rotated to the other side, but actually it's gonna be Plump Corp pushing through the other team's big door, sending a high bomb in onto the medic, gets one good rocket, but not able to get the force, and they get punished for this. Plump Corp has both their soldiers go down. Yeah, they lose the other soldier in choke as well at a really inopportune moment. Justy now able to get out alive from that spammer. Now this could be looking dire, dire, dire. There's two soldiers down, not much spammer over going towards that doorway as Natalie has to get flashed onto the unforcing the Uber charge out. But look, he's so, so safe all the way back on mid. He's got the remaining players, but they're trying to escape out through lobby. And he might not be lucky enough to even get that. He's caught on the way out. And again, massive new rad now for early workshop, and it's looking good for them. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, drop the yeah, drop the scout, but they still have uber advantage here. These soldiers are doing a great job stuffing the doorway, and apparently alien workshop does not like what they saw. They knew they had ad, but they didn't decide to use it yet. Looks like they might be... Trying to go through... Do they know they have it? I think they might just be stunned, right, from losing that pocket scout. They had their plan, they had their sense, but like, right, we're going to go 3-2-1, we're going now, and then just dropping the scout, and they're thinking, you know what, the going to be building back up again. They didn't really want to push in 5v6, and they decided, you know what, we're just going to play even and bring up the sniper, Sneaky, 
is known for being very, very potent on this class. And he's going for a really early peek in through main. Might be trying to catch someone in transition. Eon's dancing dangerously close to the sight line. And Dancer's too close for comfort. Sneaky takes him down. And maybe it was all worthwhile after all. Yeah, Alien Workshop showing they don't need to take their Uber ads. Apparently, they can just get them back the moment they want. That's exactly what they did. So that's going to pay off for them. They get to take a 6v6 Uber ad. And I think they're going to... Yeah, their sniper went back to spawn, so they're not even going to have that uh, disadvantage pink class some teams don't like having. As well with Eon, like, dropping rather than just getting forced, there's so much time to open. They do have the time to run scouts back, change off, get themselves set up perfectly again. And this time, they're going to have another go, see if they can get in without the pocket scout going down into this time. Everyone getting flashed on the way in through the river. Gun taken down very fast as well this time. Natty Newt's down as well. No sticks on the point to defend. Looking so, so good. Now for Alien Roots, a plenty of Captain could be a heavy focus down as well. That's two on the board for the Aliens. Yeah, two on the board indeed. Plump Corp has to get this sorted out. As you said, it's their map pick. They hopefully have to change it up on mid. That's how the game kind of goes. They gotta... It all starts with mid. If you can't win those, it's very difficult. They've been getting caught out so badly on this platform every time, and they, they tried maybe sending soldiers in. I know Yekub last time went very aggressive and onto Tavi and uh, didn't have the most success, but maybe having a pause. Now, obviously, mid fight will have happened before this pause came through, but maybe some uh, some issues coming through for either team. But yeah, I'm interested to see what happens with this mid, because like you say, Plum Corp needs to, need to change something. Something has to change. It's their pick. They must have plenty of strats to fall back on, and these last two mids have looked anything but convincing. I do agree with that. So far, you can't really say what the mid's going to be, but it started the same. Both demos rolled out their own choke. And basically at the same time, although Natty has been a couple seconds faster, unfortunately, they seem a little uh, concerned with going too aggressive at the start. I noticed Natty really likes to stand in choke at the start of these mids, doesn't want to allow themselves to get bombed early. Yeah, it can be dangerous, right, on Gully Wash and, and a couple of apps as well, right? If you're the demo, you're the first there. You're also the, the first one to be the center of attention sometimes. So sometimes we'll be slowing it down just for a second or two. Is that there's not the, the potentially the assault ones coming in or even scouts deciding to you know, jump on the little fence and, and run into you. There's all sorts of uh, crazy things you can go for. But yeah, nothing much could be gleaned of this so far. But what can be gleaned is that we've had about seven minutes of play and it's already 2 0 down for uh, Plum Corp. And uh, yeah, they've yet to win a round in the qualifiers so far. They. Uh, they lost 3 0 on both their maps yesterday on Snake and Product and albeit they did have chances in that map, and I'm sure that they're gonna they're gonna fight back and have some chances now, but they've got to start taking them because two rounds down at the start is not the ideal position in your own map pick. Yeah, especially as you're somewhat of an inexperienced team and as in no one really played Prem besides Natty Newt. So just not getting a good start, it can be hard to come back from that when it's kind of your first time in this environment. So, hope to see them figure something out here. And with a pause like this, I have to wonder if it's a technical or attack, if there's some strats being talked about, or if, you know, it was just... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure about the rules on tack pauses. I'm assuming it's going to be a technical one from, a, oh. from something happening a minute and a half or two minutes into the, uh, into the future. Oh. Uh, Plum Corp, we're getting word. Plum Corp have had a pause, so, yeah, maybe... There's some issues, I believe. Right. Was it yesterday one of their players DC'd mid-game? I may, be, I may be imagining things, but um, yeah, n never good when there's an extended pause like this. Wait, are there tack paws in ETF2L? Uh, I honestly can't remember. I definitely don't know the rules for in, in Prem qualifiers. Like, I, I, I'm, I will not I will not be the, uh, the judge. Uh, I, don't, I don't want people in Twitch chat going and playing their offies and starting running tack pauses or anything and getting banned for it. So I, uh, I want to keep my uh, mouth firmly closed on this. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I I don't know anything about the E2F rules, so maybe I just assumed they were allowed to tack pause. Well, we use it. We run the old-fashioned config with garbage time, so we've got that to uh, that to enjoy. Um, uh, uh, later on, I'll see if it, uh, if it gets that far. Still, plenty of this game left to be played. Garbage time always makes for the best content. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Like gets like three rounds up with five minutes left, and you've got the Huntsman Sniper, the Perma Pyro, like. I guess it's fun for everyone except the medics. Like, I can't imagine being a medic in garbage time is too fun. Yeah, I, I've i been there before. Yeah, everyone wants the, the target of the frag movie because it was technically an offie. So if you hit the crazy shot of the medic, it still, I guess, half counts. 
but I guess it sort of counts less if in the background of the clip you can see like a 1v1 between like a Sandwich Heavy and like a Pyro or something like oh, you just have detracts from the realism you have to just get funny with the HUD and zooming so no one can see any of that stuff yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely well still no sign of this game being resumed just yet we've been paused now for a fair few minutes so I'm hoping it's uh, nothing too serious over the side of Plum Corp and that they've, uh, they've called the pause it could be yeah as you say no, no information other than that it was then that it would have been the pause. Could have been disconnected. Had a bit of a just there. That in my head, maybe it's some sort of um, some sort of effect. But I feel like that happened before they're about to be starting in when they get the play loaded back in, mm -hmm. jolts a bit, and then we start going again. So maybe we can hope of the game resuming soon. Yeah, that is. Yeah, there we here go. we go. Not right. a new spamming stickies across the point both teams sending their soldiers to bomb but no deaths yet kosuke initiates by jumping onto the Massive demo damage. demo down and eon stuck in the elbow side away from the team eon trying to leave but gets caught out by Usti, and it's just a disaster here jacob trying to salvage goes down there's three players still alive but with lucky stuck in big door i don't think that medic's going down Absolutely not, and there's such low HP on these remaining players, so naturally it's just a spawn, and there's only Andy Lee, who's had to go all the way around behind, gonna be maybe getting caught with his rocket, just a really nice play there, and again, it's just the same, mid once more, naturally gets caught, and then the aliens just charge across the point, so, so fast, so venomous, straight into the enemy choke, and Eon gets caught to spam on the way out of elbow, and it's, it's really, really rough, and again, three for three, basically, on these mids, I know last time they got lucky from some, uh, some random stickies at the end of the mid, but... And the aliens just keep on charging forward and they might be getting another full add push as a reward. Mm -hmm. We see Demo holding in water now. Uber came in through the riverside. Gun goes down very early. Kosuke going into water to fight it. We see Tavi doing so much damage onto this heavy. <laughs> and yeah, Tavi didn't let them get out of spawn. And as you said, if you can't get out of spawn, you can't block point. Right, well this is going to pause. I've just seen Nasty Newt. So yeah, quick disconnect and reconnect. Yeah, there we go. Back in the game, back ready to fight again, but you know down, it's again. We said last time on the last minute it had to be something different, a bit of a change, and honestly, I don't think I saw too much different other than the fact that the aliens were even faster on their collapse and even faster with their aggression. And again, just any soldiers set up, ready to collapse right side. But actually, this time it is a right side mid coming in from Plumcorp, just be straight in onto Eon, just gonna land, oh, good amount of damage there. Eon down to 28 feet, so you're gonna jump in, try and finish that one off. But players falling left and right for both teams. Lucky getting caught out underneath, though. That's a really important kill there from Yeke, as that means the Eon and the Hexeri can get back onto second and get an Uber ad to work with. Yeah, as you said, they now have Uber ad and they kept their scout alive, so it's not even going to be Uber ad where you have to build it back up. It's going to be set and ready to go immediately. And we're going to probably see something happen on mid. It looks like Lucky got the forward spawn, so they're already going to be coming to this door to fight it. Combo Scout going through Choke along with their soldier. This is going to be Plump Corpse's chance to finally take Kasuki the mid. is one. hiding. Kasuki is hiding, jumping straight down onto Choke. Just no other picks there. I thought they were going to get a bit more. They get a lot of damage in the two players there, but doesn't manage to get anything. But what's so crucial here is that uh, Elon's managed to get in without having to use. But they're still getting ready to walk in straight through enemy big dog. They want even more. They're going to wow through them. They're getting second for this for three as well. And there's still 40% left from this Uber ad. Yeah, there is, and I think they know with how they're playing. They're so aggressive in lobby. They now backed up. Maybe now the calls have come in. It's probably too late. And have to see how they break this hold. Plump Corp, of course, uh, have their medic drop to a sniper. Maybe they can try the same thing in reverse. But it looks like they're going to be sending Jacob to bomb into the pyro in sentry. Two bombs. They get the pyro. Yeah, other soldier in. So much damage onto Lucky, and they're still trying to pistol them oh, down oh, from river. Oh, oh. But not quite enough. That's so, so close, so, so close. Tavi taking a lot as well, but really nicely coordinated. Double sack coming in. Lucky just had the movement, just landing on top of those barrels there, able to evade the grunt force of that damage. But what an attempt that was. Like, Gullywurst last is a dangerous place to be sometimes. These men are so before vulnerable to the sniper, but these double bombs can also be so powerful. And in the meantime, they've used the spawners to get Andy Dude up on sniper. See if Andy Dude can replicate the success that Sneaky had earlier. But Wild Piggy, of course, aware over on the spy checking for this yeah as you said they probably know the australian is up they're peeking in and eats a rocket to the face they tried that same angle that i don't remember who that sniper was maybe it was sneaky, sneaky the frog sneaky yeah okay yeah they tried it 
got punished. And, oh, scout on point, who's blocking the points? That's so much cap time. This soldier with the banner just gets on it in time. And now we see two people in river. They actually kill Usti and are just gonna try to stand on point. This is bringing everyone on alien down to the ground in a panic. Yeah, and with the sniper as well, as soon as people start dropping onto the point, they can target the cons popped out from Kazuki. He's gonna help them out a bit. Oh, but what that does we do? Hexeri goes behind and just taps it up. No one's looking at it. Everyone's worried about the sniper, the cons pop. Everything's going off, and I was even caught aghast by it as well. Just walks behind, stands on the point, and gets them their first round in Prem qualifiers and gets them back in the game. Yeah, that's a play that's been done season after season since the start of this map, and what a great play. They pulled it off excellently. Well, going to continue that one where they left off and and the mid zone at Pump Club haven't been ideal so far. This time, it seems like a slower start for both these teams. Just rotating to their own side, but actually, yeah, we're going to be the first one to form in. Massive damage, all those roaches combo. Looking down to 20 HP. Caught Lucky out down. now by the follow-up. Roach and Andy in, and all players left alive, and this might be the turnaround on the mids that Pump Club have needed. Yeah, Kosuke tried to hide and salvage by killing the medic at the end, but they were just caught. Nothing they can do. This looks like a complete reverse, and this demo seems to be getting hunted down. Although, Rock thought better of it, that soldier jumped away, didn't want to die because they have Ad, and they're going to be able to go, especially because everyone's here, they don't even have to wait for someone to roll out. The thing is, there's only so many people dying on mid, like this gun is only just getting built, it's still level 1, they've got the Pyro to try and defend it as well as they can, but if Tuba Charge comes in quick, it might catch them off guard, it's still, yeah, very passive gun over on that own shutter, but Eon looking like, again, they're going to mirror pushes of their enemies jumping straight in from the river everyone getting flashed through but Andy no not in the fucking time getting caught to the spam tabby getting more kills onto Andy Jacob as well and oh dear it's not worked out at all this was a golden opportunity to bring it back to three to two but Plum Corp are gonna have to retreat all the way out and they're getting chased as well because Suki's in wants even more wants to twist the knife in the chest of Plum Corp but no back to out they're gonna take second on this and it's gonna be a big add up for Lucky Definitely a big ad, and we actually see the solution for Plump Corp. Apparently it's Spy. Spy is up. They have their soldiers close to choke. I wonder if they're going to try to drop the medic here. Looks like slowly crouching on the other side. So much spam in choke. Soldier came through drop down, so Jacob's down. And it looks like Alien Decloak. is yeah, cleanly through, as you said, Decloak, sneaking up to the medic. But oh, trying to catch surely up. Surely they're aware. Surely they're aware. No way he walks all the way like this. Play and see. Okay. They come in. They use anyway. It's not going to matter. The spy was too slow. And in the meantime, two soldiers going down on the red side. Might lose more. No, Eon able to get the super charge out in time to at least save himself. But gonna have to try and escort the rest of the team out because this is still not looking great. There's so much high ground being taken. Eon gets caught. Door is closed behind by Tavi, and he's getting caught on spy as well. There's only one survivor, and second point's being capped up and. We thought it could have been 3-2 at one end. It's now looking pretty damn on for 4-1 to the other. Yeah, I agree. Scouts in. Soldier in spawn. This demo trying to keep their stickies up but dies. Now there's nothing to block the point besides a couple soldiers versus six players. They're not able to get on point in time. Now, one thing I, I've not, uh, I didn't actually notice when there was the, uh, the pause. Has there been a sub over on the pump yeah. up side? Cyrus is coming on demo. In for, uh, for Nestle. Obviously, a map for, like uh, like Gully Wash is so important for the uh, for the demo. It's not the ideal one for losing your main demo in. But, um, yeah, Cyrus, I guess, was in there for that previous round that they won, and these last couple of mids have been a bit of an improvement over on the red side. And this time, going right side, they want to turn the heat, turn the pace. Actually, both teams going right side, getting the usual one as the jumping. Actually, catch out Eon. I don't think he's got the memo. Eon's caught out in no man's land on the lower ground, and I've been trading out. Well, and lucky, so this is such a chaotic, crazy mid. There's players going down left and right and into a 4v3 with uneven HP. The two blue scouts are going to try and escape their way out to the big door. They are going to have about 50 HP combined between them because you getting maybe caught in choke as well. And I guess Pump Corp get the moral victory. They do get the point, they cap it up, but lots of low HPs. It's going to be even Ubers and maybe going to slow down a bit from here. Yeah, it might slow down, but I don't think Plump Corp wants to slow it down. They've already gone through. Jacob just dies in front of four players in River, but they're staying in. The soldier Tavi gets caught. a kill. Yeah, Tavi dead. Demo's doing so much damage. Cyrus just shooting pills over to the River area makes this team alien run away. Yeah, there's eight more seconds of that Demo Man respawner, so if they want to take some space, now is the time to do it. There's going to be no sticky traps to, uh, to worry about to negotiate on their way up into the lobby. Uber Charger's still dead even, so 
Not, not even a chance of like some sort of dot punch to try and catch out Lucky or uh, anything like that. We're going to send players underneath again. This worked really well last time with the Terrier. Andy's going underneath now. We're going to try and get a bit of cap time. Oh, Sticky's there just in time. And he's spawning up. Very aware of it. Now they're going to have to try and back out. Yeah, very aware. And they do have to back out this play. Not successful, I think. Last time, they were able to kind of just get the... They got a force. I don't remember fully how, but then their Uber didn't go well. Yeah, it was a bit... Um... Yeah, a bit weird last time, but um, this time to see what they're going to go for. Yeko's still just about to be spawning up, so it could be potentially going for something funny. It doesn't seem like it's happening just yet. Last time there was all sorts going on on the uh, on the blue side as well. They were running all sorts of banners. It was a buff banner and a conch at the same time at one point. It was uh, really getting a getting a, getting a, um, optimistic with it, seeing what they can get doing. But um, no, this time it's still cookie cutter over on the red side. We saw the court, you see the double soldier tanks before, but. I'm gonna still try to be scouting and he's just caught out once more and he's gonna slow this down even more of Pump Corp. Mm -hmm. And now we see the Pyro going into lobby, maybe trying to find a funny reflect. Nope, Jacob not gonna shoot, but it doesn't matter, just gets spammed down and then blows themselves up. How unfortunate. And that's gonna delay their chances. Hexiri spawned on Sniper, so they want to try this again. It looks like they're going to be going into Lobby here. Probably going to peek through main, maybe launch pad. Yeah, it's Hexiri with the Sniper this time instead of uh, instead of Andy. I guess he's saying, right, it's my turn this time. Andy had a go and it didn't go. It didn't go badly, but it didn't go. It didn't get anything too crazy. Hexiri going to be getting ready to make the big peek in from underneath. See if anyone is standing in the line of sight. But no, Kazuki keeping such a firm grip on this doorway until he gets headshot. Perfect caster's first game in there, takes area up the batting. Yeah, look at the point though. There was a scout on point and then a soldier bombed in as well. And it seems like those players are gonna get caught out here. Took a while for that to happen though, and there is some good cap time. There's only four players up there. They're gonna have to back so far out. They've got a sniper as well in the monks. This is a pyro even walking out into lobby, getting a bit of fire damage there into Yekeb. There's nothing that can't be healed back up by that trusty beam of Eon, but can we saw one pick from the sniper and it just you could pandemonium it unleashes? Like maybe they just go for something similar again, just see what Xeri can land. Yeah, it seems like they're gonna be peeking in through river, trying to get a line onto the medic or any other player. Have to be so careful here. There's so much spam. The iron bombers getting shot. There's a scout going to point, causing chaos. One headshot on the pyro. They see the medic. They see the medic again, and they hit the headshot. Hits it. Oh, it's a huge shot there. Coming in from Hexer. We see now one of the ones to pick up the sniper the second time round, and what a pick it is. Straight headshot through the needle, all the way through onto the head of Lucky, getting it and getting this big advantage. We've seen them under one of these ad pushes already though this game so they've got to they've got to still convert it from here he's not round over yet they've got to buy their win they've still got a sniper they have no respawners to let them run back and change off so now it's going to be here and now push coming in through the shutter and see if there's any improvements yeah scout on point already look at the cap time found the demo tabby gets that kill on the combo scout and now we see the fight happening outside the point Bleeding one players yeah and then the heavy i don't know if anyone can do anything about the 450 health not even the sniper and yeah it just wasn't enough again yeah this game might just come down to some of these ad pushes right because you've seen alien merge about four and convert it all four times but well, this is now two ad pushes that pump have had going into any last remember the round that they got was from the back half. the round they got was from there was chaos ensuing and ha we just ran underneath and capped the point well that was the uh that was where the round came from it didn't come from an ad push and i've got to say alien merge is defending admirably in these situations gonna jump in lower as well and finally get this kill out onto the sniper and then timer ticks down where we're getting to this point now in the game where you start having a, a just an eye in the corner looking up at that clock ticking below 10 minutes 10 minutes minus three rounds definitely possible but uh definitely might motivate forward and they're actually gonna motivate them straight into taking a trade and it's a trade that's going so well for the pyro mm -hmm. that pyro finding the soldier gets them down and that's just not going to be what they needed there. But actually, Hexiri doesn't care. He just ran into secret. And it seems like there's a soldier. Usti found them. They're sending their soldier bombing in, probably because the time's ticking down. And we actually see a scout on point during this chaos. Ooh, trying to get the cat. Okay, not quite going to happen. I guess there's no time probably to get to second and start the cap and maybe go for some sort of uh, crazy push. But nope, round reset. 
uh, sort of caught me unaware. that there was so much going on, so much back and forth around the last point. I didn't realise there was a uh, there was a second timer also ticking down and going to send it back to a mid fight, which that's not ideal for Plum Corp, right? They've had so many chances there to get that second round on the board, try and claw themselves back into this game that otherwise could be getting away from them because they're still three rounds down. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be watching Tavi this mid, shooting stickies into the other team's big door, and it actually is going to be Plump Corp sending their soldiers across, one landing into Lucky elbow, silly. and they do find Lucky with that bomb, Rot still in there dueling it out with Sneaky the Frog, but when all's said and done, both medics have traded and these players on Plump Corp have no health, they're getting caught in choke, Usti finds one, Sneaky the Frog finds the other. Eon just got left completely for dead, trying to get through a... Uh... The, the, the like banana area on his own side there was nobody in sight anywhere near not even on the own, on the same half of mid it was kind of tragic to see as gets caught out but yeah good start on the mid bombing in getting lots of commitment onto lucky but lucky just kept alive on 20 hp for a little bit uncomfortably too long for that pump cop side they had to stay in for a bit longer meant that none of those players bombing in could get out alive and now and i mean it's going to be even Ubers, but it's going to be <laughs> The blue alien side happened up second and when the, you're looking at an eye on a time like this looking at enemy last with even ubers is the absolute perfect place yeah as you said soldiers spamming trying to get the gun down but there's a pyro here and we actually see the soldier bomb into river they find yeah they find two they get the demo with that and they're gonna get killed under point as well what is this <laughs> This is absolute carnage, and it's carnage that seems to be going roughly in Plumcourt's favour. They did lose a couple of players late in. That was probably not ideal for the Wild Piggy, perhaps thinking about going for some shenanigans underneath in Baby Door, but as the dust settles, it seems as if they're going to try and make this work anyway over on Plumcourt. They need to act time as best as they can. Andy actually forced to get the Ubercharge. Look, going to try and use in on Sneaky. Ubercharge is traded out in lobby. Now this gets really careful. Oh, These guys in behind for the back cap. Wild Piggy taunting on point and taunting his way onto the win 5-1 to one on the Plumcourt map pick. Yeah, you mentioned it earlier. Sometimes the team that just can push last wins. And we saw Plump Corp, they had two full ad pushes and they lost those rounds. So unfortunate for them. And I think that was kind of the difference here between these teams. Yeah, absolutely. And at the end, it's kind of understandable, right? Like there's, there's obviously both at nine at a time. They know that Plump Corp have to push out and they take that trade. And obviously it's so risky to do that. It's even players taking a trade like just outside your own lobby is it's always vulnerable to things like those scout back camps. But honestly, I respect Plum Corp for trying it. Given that there's so little time left, it's so easy for that time to just get drained out on your own last. They had to take the risk and they had to take it early. And they go for it. It doesn't pay off. But uh, I do respect the attempt. But Alien Workshop now winning the opponent map pick and winning it in, honestly, score-wise, pretty dominant fashion. I guess obviously the gameplay was maybe not as dominant in that sense. There was some certain chances for Plum Corp, but what a start to the series. Yeah. And we might get logs here. Is that 25 and 2 on Sneaky? Is that right? That's... That... Okay. That happened, I suppose. That was mad. <laughs> Absolutely mad. 22 deaths! It gave us like 25 minutes. On Scout? On Gullywash? I don't even know how that's possible. 25 frags as well. I guess DPM isn't anything crazy, but it's yeah. meant to be, right? You're just following up what everyone else is used to is on 330. Yeah, but I guess that's uh, that's always going to help you forward, I suppose. He had a third of the deaths as their medic on Combo Scout. Yeah, that's that's very odd. But yeah, great performance from Sneaky. I know you said coming in, Sneaky's perhaps... I'd argue one of the stronger players in the um more experienced players in the server, at least of based like recent results. Had a, has had some really good runs in Prem in the last couple of seasons, played for Swift, played for um Havoc last season, and has been very, very good and moving on to Combo Scout as well as looking at so so good in this series again. And yeah, twenty five and two. Very, very big performance there, but yeah, Medic stats looking uh I guess kind of Average for your, uh, you're looking at a slight healing advantage over for Lucky, but uh, I guess they were both going to get focused down a fair bit on those mids, and uh, neither of them had the, uh, the longest life expectancy. Yeah, Usti top damaged the server, but 
I still think the MVP has to go to Sneaky the Frog. Yeah, that's obscene. Twenty-five and two. That's uh, that's mad. And because again, like I'd say, obviously, if it was a five-hour roll in like ten minutes or something, yeah, maybe. But like I don't know, there was like there was certain chances for like for a Plum Corp, and yeah, just the ability to sort of get out alive in so many situations on a on Pocket Scout, like really, really important. But um, but now moving over to our map number two, the pick of Alien Workshop, we're moving over to Sunshine. So uh, do you think maybe that could be the, the turn of fortunes that, that Plum Corp need? Or do you think it's maybe going to play even more into Alien's hands? It definitely can be the turn of fortunes. It's going to be different players, different strengths on this map. And, you know, for Plump Corp, that player swap probably messed with them a bit. It might be good to have a bit of a reset. Uh, assuming Cyrup is still playing for them, maybe they can get a bit more settled with that. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's so rough having to change players in the middle of a game. You've got to feel bad for them. But um, but yeah, I, I'm not sure exactly what's happening with that. We'll see when they join the server if um, if Natty Newt is able to get back in the game and uh, perhaps make a resurgence. But um, Cyrus is going to be was the one who finished out that past map and yeah, sort of be thrown in at the deep end, like mid-series. Like, oh, by the way, you get a phone call like, oh, can you get in the server now? However, it's uh, obviously not ideal. But um, honestly, made it given the circumstances made it work and uh yeah gonna be over onto sunshine next so see if uh obviously their pick not going their way see if they can go for the uh, the big reverse sweep yeah and reverse sweep might be possible but we'll have to see i want to see what these teams do on these mids none of those gully wash mids were passive which was really cool to see sunshine I hope they keep it up because there's a lot of really interesting things you can do on this mid. Yeah, absolutely. Like this, it's always a bit more, a bit more rotational when you start to go gully wash, but there's all that high ground to fight over. There's all the, the weird bombs you can go for. There's plenty of high walls to be jumping off and uh, and having some fun with. And there are plenty of opportunities to yeah, go behind. There's there's all sorts you can do. The world is your oyster on sunshine mid. So we will, uh, yeah, good to see what they're, what they're going for. As the game looks like it's going live just about now. So we'll see if it's going to be another 2-0 to zero in these qualifiers. If Alien Workshop are able to secure their own pick and send them through into that decider game. Or if Plum Corp will bring this forward. It's going to be onto Granary if required. But they've got to get through Sunshine first. Yeah, looks like fast roll yeah, out kept. by this soldier. Jess gets on Tabby. Down, down already. And now we see aggression continuing. Usti bombing into the choke, killed Eon. How does he get away with that? And now we see Rodicher trying to get back on Lucky to salvage it, but can't quite make it happen. Yes, yeah, Cyrus as well getting caught. It was such a massive bomb there from those alien soldiers. There's actually still a scout hiding out in mid. I'm not sure if they're aware of this or what this could possibly achieve. Scout driven behind onto Lucky. Gets the fist that goes for the shots. And it lands it. Scout to go. Oh, getting blocked so nicely. Great movement there from Lucky. Gonna stay alive. Sneaky gets fourth frag of the round. Andy there really going for it. We respect the attempt. Sacking in behind. It's not something you see every day. Someone hiding behind Tetris on mid. But massive advantage again. And we're gonna be starting map two just as we start at map one. Yeah, as you said, but these Uber situation, they might actually somehow get Uber just in time. They're already at 65. Uber came out, demos bombing over, putting stickies onto the other side. Tavi's doing a great job here, locking off the point. And on the other side, they're trying to find these players that are stuck out, not having too much success yet. We now see Husty bombing onto point. Rodicher Eon goes down. 90%. Oh, he's not going to be quick enough. Just about in time, going to get that kill out onto Eon. Otherwise, you're thinking if that Uber comes out with five seconds or so before it was due to, if, if you're getting an amount of 10 15% for in that building, maybe there is a world where the Uber charge comes out and saves all the weak players out by the crates, but not going to happen, not going to be in time. And yeah, again, last time we saw a round in about two minutes, and we're seeing it again, Alien. Like, they're just so quick out of the traps. Yeah, looks like Jacob didn't fast roll out this time but kosuke did landing onto Cyrup, hitting one good rocket has to jump away gets punished for it goes down bump corp trying to hold on to this right side and it's gonna be alien workshop running away they want nothing to do with this mid after that fast roll out didn't go their way 
They're getting chased as well. There's lots of aggression coming in through the choke. In the eventual uh, 5v5, giving the scout, the scout still back capping and looks like it's going to be perhaps... You know, I still think he might go in, actually. It's just called off. You must be walking in, getting so much stamina. The cherry's gone down, bottom going in as well. Jekhe taken down also. And yeah, maybe overstaying slightly there. Only one pick and further scout catch with bait and taking a 5v5 there straight in. They get punished. Good work again from Yoshi there, jumping behind, doing massive, massive damage into the combo. We saw what damage numbers he did put up last map, but now Uber Charge coming in on the solo from Sneaky. Yeah, Uber came out for both teams, and it's going to be trying to take it into choke. Everyone's just in choke. Kosuke gets down, Sneaky the Frog goes down. They clumped up in choke. Plump Corp did, or Alien Workshop clumped up in choke and got punished for it, and it's going to be Plump Corp chasing it down. Jacob lands all the way into Shutter the already. Wreck. A scout got on the medic. Cyrus though goes down to Tabby. This is falling apart so so quickly. The cap might not even come through. No, they forced off it. Andy and Eon gonna have to run out, and they're still getting chased as well. Yusty still jumping in. Might be catching his kill onto Andy. You no know, good movement, good pistol aim as well. Jumping out over the top, but they're still getting chased. They're still blue players marching forward onto them. <laughs> Aliens walking in through the tractor beam, straight through choke, and they want to cap out mid. Yeah, but we see Plump Corp fighting it. They put so much damage into Choke. Alien Workshop's going to have to run away here because the forward spawns, I think, they just spawn so much closer for the side of Plump Corp, of course, holding mid. And now it's kind of funny. Both teams are so close to capping. You don't usually see that. Unfortunately, I don't think either of these teams has a chance of that capping. Yeah, of course. I guess it was it sort of slowing down a bit, but when it was that constant like push and pull, the tug of war of this chaotic fights oh. happening all over the place. Bomb, bomb. One nice rocket, but the landing dungeon isn't going to be surely getting swept up by Sneaky. Yeah, good attempt. Lands that one nice rocket, but yeah, it's so hard, especially when there's a good surf like that. So hard, especially when there's no pressure either. It's always a uh, bit of a hit and hope on those. But yeah, like I say, you in the chaos back and forth, there you will, that back comes through. But now, yeah. Oh, you mentioned point time ticking down on both mid and second as we uh, we stabilize out finally after a rather chaotic last minute or so and we'll see what plum corp have to offer pushing into second see if they go for more single sites see if they decide to go for some people or crazy oh, let's, mm -hmm. let's have a look yeah it seems like they're all in cafe trying to cause some chaos as we see a soldier bomb into valley from choke and the other one bombs onto the medic and shoots this medic forward lucky's in the line of fire here but somehow second bombed oh yeah this, this, i think that was the choke just gets that force off as you said and now we see alien corp pushing through choke we see usty all the way on bell tower already shooting rockets down and it's going to be plump corp desperate to hold on to this without using uber we see both these scouts fighting on the bell tower trying to knock the soldier away and they took so much damage but i think plump corp held it no as i say that they do lose one yeah one was not ideal that soldier used to there again going down like but getting a frag is it's huge. Lucy's having such a good series so far, but like you mentioned, this Uber charge coming up for Eon still being holding it for this whole time. It's so important that they're able to hold mid there without that force coming through. Really nice hold there from Plum Corp. And now, gonna have another opportunity. We saw this fail many times over on Gully Wash. The Uber add into last. They're using straight in opposite sides of the gun. Gun's gonna stay up and come through the long, but kills coming through onto the spawn shutter. And we are left in suspense as there has been a pause in the future. But this is. <laughs> yeah, as you said, pause with a pyro trying to burn this demo down, but low health as well. I think this Uber didn't go this exact way Plump Corp wanted. If you look, step back, there's actually a scout still rolling out for Plump Corp and a soldier that's not even in the fight. So there's only three people on last and only two of them have a weapon. The other one's the medic. Yeah, and Roshir is uh, also down at 60 HP as well. And uh, with a soldier directly above, I'm not sure that his uh, shelf life is going to be too good in this fight. But yeah, like you mentioned, I think just bombing in the Osiris, getting what they can over towards that, uh, that left spawn shutter. But yeah, it looks like Yusti's just going to get out alive on low HP. There's no damage at all to speak of onto Lucky. And it could be another uh, another botch push. Unless we never know, anything can happen. There's a... Uh, there's spam coming over towards you. Is that, the, is that rocket about to hit him in the face? No, it's hitting the ground in front. But yeah, you can sit and hypothesize this forever, but yeah, like like you mentioned, there's Uber coming up for Lucky soon and only three players in the fight for the red side. 
Yeah, as you said, I have to wonder, it's just a really good chance for Plump Corp to finally even out the score. If this doesn't go their way, it might be starting to be a repeat of Gully Watch, but we unpause right here. Demo Man Eon down. That's the medic, actually. And the soldier brought her down. Somehow Cyrus is still alive, but getting bombed by a soldier. Usti, we see Scout on point, and force? actually they managed to get the force off. Yeah, force comes out rather late. I don't exactly know what that force came in for. Lucky's still full HP, I guess, maybe to save Tavi, but again, that adds could have been so valuable for pushing across the map. We saw last time the value, like just having the threat of an Uber could be. You can get one, two points even for free without using sometimes if you play your cards right, but. Uber charge used up means we're back to a situation we were in just a few minutes ago as it's even Uber's but actually with the drive pack neither side having that Uber charge up just yet means that Bunko really smell good and they're jumping in they're flying in and you're getting a flag already under Tabby the demo man is going to be pretty big but massive damage coming into the choke from Alien Workshop and that's going to force those remaining three players of Bunko back out to Texas. As you said and now we see they just out Plump Corp has forward spawns and i think they're gonna get them in time to use them so they have a chance to take it back but ah with this uber i don't know if it's even possible yeah they've been building slightly better through that fight i guess maybe to, to the idea that they took more damage and they were just building slightly better but um as a result of that but yeah not gonna make any difference at all this is where the pause came through and uh Yusti's just going sacked back being sent down didn't quite land in the pack uh, yeah, we're stabilizing out now, but at the other mid, as we, yeah, we'll see now what Alien Workshop have to offer. We saw before some rather crazy plays. I actually noticed it hits the, uh, the red side. Roach are jumping in straight above the cafe, going to try and go for the play. Yeah, and actually manages to survive. Somehow, I'm surprised at that, and a Plump Corp didn't manage to find anything. They must have been looking for something. It didn't happen. Either way, Alien Workshop, all the way in Valley, have this scout spotting it. They step, take a step in, maybe looking for stickies, but they baited the soldier into bombing. Jacob living on one HP exactly. We oh, see a soldier. Yeah, soldier bombing in. Hit one rocket onto Eon. Didn't get that force off, though. Yeah, nice work there from Jacob. That movement there to stay alive on one HP. Uh, just landing that rocket just at the perfect angle to not take full damage. Hit by splash is really good. And that now means with this pick, they're actually going to start working their way in. Rush is going to get. Very, very weak underneath the point. More sacks coming in onto Lucky and onto Tavi. Point. More players going down. Now both soldiers on the Plumcorp side have fallen. And Andy doing the flank as well. And this is crumbling at the seams for Plumcorp. Yeah, it's crumbled completely. They're back on last. And Alien Workshop knows this. They're sending players in through lower. Tavi and Sneaky the Frog are running in. Maybe trying to get this force off. They're doing so much damage. But it's actually going to be the force coming out for both sides. It's going to be a trade as we pause these are coming through at the worst time aren't they for us <laughs> this, yeah. is, uh, this is so awkward that was really really good work there from that cherry though like just getting tabby low enough because we saw they're obviously lucky sneaky and tabby they want to go in they want to take as much space as they can and try and force eon as fast as possible but like it's there getting that good damage on a tabby meant it forced lucky's hand lucky's like no there's no way i'm dropping my demo in this has to use the uber early and that means now that what could have been a rather unfavorable exchange has actually maybe not worked out too bad on the Plum Corp side. Yeah, maybe not too bad. We'll have to see how the post goes, though. There's still a lot left that could happen here. Uber basically popped at the same time. You know, it's slightly better for the side of uh, Alien Workshop, but Lucky has to flash players, so, you know, how's that actually going to end? Might be actually worse for them. Yeah, of course. There's yeah two players in the Uber versus one. These, I know that... When you're facing like a solo, the solo Uber just, it lasts like uncomfortably long if you're on your team. It lasts like just a little bit longer than you think it's going to. Uh, just because, yeah, it's obviously not flashing anyone, doesn't take any of those extra valuable seconds off it. But but yeah, I'm just wondering, like, we're hearing it's a, a plum court pause again, so I really do feel bad if they're having a, they're having more problems over on their side. But um, actually, oh, no, game's pause. getting back underway. It actually oh, catches Tavi in the Uber. We mentioned before about Tavi getting caught low, which is what popped it out to begin with, but actually the Uber is not enough to save Tabby as Lucky just all flashes at one small glimmer of time and Terry takes the opportunity. Yeah, just that one second is all that's needed and now we see a fight happening as Rodicher tried to bust through Shudder, gets repelled though. We see fighting on the other side of the map. 
and Dude running into Valley, hitting his scattergun shots, but actually he's going to be the one to die first. Plump Corp is still in this fight, though. They're trying to get this cap down. Usti, those kind of on bats behind their team. Oh, and the scout. <laughs> oh, he's so dodgy. This cap point does come through eventually. But at what cost? They've obviously lost Andy already. They've got taken back so, so far. And the Indians then put Letty up. They're not going back. They're not giving in. And they're marching forward once again. Going to catch Russia on the way out. And now two picks up. Both soldiers down. This could be an even better opportunity than before. Yeah, definitely really good opportunity here gonna see them all top left they're sending their soldier in usty bombing through finding damage onto the scout and on the other side sneaky the frog tried to run in doesn't manage to make it through yeah it's a good attempt good attempt the soldiers came up just in time i think they've come up on that hold and the uh, the level one gun doing a valiant job just underneath the uh, underneath the pipe just doing what it doing what it can Force came in about here, so it didn't seem like it had too much effect. It's not like you've seen someone like crash mid push or anything like that. Nothing crazy. There's a, uh, yeah, off class. We've still got Andy and the engineer. We've got Kazuki coming up sniper on the opposite side. Now, Kazuki on sniper, this is like, I know I mentioned before that I think Pumko obviously banned product, partially because of what happened yesterday. They got, they got rolled pretty hard, but also like, Kazuki, like, in the past has had some big plays on product on sniper. That was his soldier. Go sniper on products and you can pull up some big things, but actually seeing it on Sunshine as well. We'll see what can be found. Yeah, these snipers trying to find a line, but there's iron bomber shots going to their faces. There's stickies, so not a whole lot for them to do unless they can get a clear opening. And it looks like they're trying to do that on the left side. Kosuke finds an angle onto the sniper, doesn't take it, walks all the way through, sees the soldier on the other side, gets bombed, surfs away. Just one day in the life of the Australian. Yeah, I've got to say, like, I feel like Sunshine is, like, it's one of the less forgiving maps to snipe on, right? You have to be so deep inside the choke to get any sort of sightline at all, especially when, like, the defending side is set up underneath his pipe. They're sat so close to that front wall. You have to basically wide swing out and just go for the hero shot. That's, like, unless you're going to catch, like, a soldier or something, someone jumping around, you hit, like, a nice shot or a jumping soldier, like, yeah, can beg it, take him low. But it, it's so hard to just have those opportunities. They, they're, they're few and far between. And yeah, because you're going to walk and try and go for a hero shot, but dies the sticks of Cyrus. And Cyrus actually hits another good pipe. Now that's two picks. Yeah, could might be using these opportunities to go dungeon as well. Yeah, they are. And we see the soldier trying to go through bats. Rodacher, that is, gets shot, runs away as they're already down one. So yeah, neither team finding a way to break this situation, especially for the side of alien workshop it seems like if they're not gonna have a full lad situation i'm not sure they know how to break this hold or maybe they're just not able to put it into practice yeah i will say it's uh to be understandable it is one of the one of the harder holds to break through and especially when there's this sort of tight oh, soldier. two soldiers in he just, oh, just, gets the the out. just as i'm saying it's a hard, a hard nut to crack they send both the soldiers in get that force out no flags coming through but we'll see what this might cause now for the Plum Cove side. Did this guy start pushing out? Did this start trying to make something happen? Try and maybe get a force to look But no, both soldiers are going to be respawning in time. All over for Alien Workshop. And what a great sack that was. Perfectly coordinated double sack. Yeah, I, I think they just jumped through lower. And I think the gun had to rotate because the gun's facing... It, 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 they're like horizontal to it, so it just wasn't able to get tracked on them enough. Either way, Uber came out, the gun goes down, and now we're gonna see Sneaky the Frog all the way on the other side of the map, finding this kill onto Rodacher, trying to follow oh, it up, guys. gets another. Yeah, this combo scout just killing everyone here. Heavy out Tommy Slob, but it's not enough. That's gonna be another round for the side of Alien Workshop. Yeah, that just leads apart to that ad push we saw earlier over from Plum Corp. He was getting everything done. They got all the space. And Demo Man taken down instantly. It's always massive. There's no traps to worry for. The Demo is so good at denying that cap time from coming through. And it just means eventually <laughs> the, the defending players are going to have to start putting people near the point. They're heavy. has to peek out from behind cover to deny the cap and such. And yeah, it just gets riskier and riskier and riskier. And yeah, great work from Alien Works of clearing up and getting hold of the point. But tuna up. Still half the game to play. Plum Corp definitely still in this one. But um, here would be a great time to make some moves, but actually they're the ones getting moved on currently. Eon, not aware that Yusti has got behind, and 
hatching that medic. This is not the start to round number three that I'm sure they were hoping for. Yeah, it's not. And now we see Andit Dude getting chased down. Just the scouts, but it's not a medic. How much does it matter? I guess they can start building a gun if they want. But yeah, so we'll get a bit of an early gun, although there is a soldier here ready to spam it down. Yeah, it's going to be slightly rough. There's a sniper now watching it to try and help this gun get built, but again, another full ad opportunity, and they've looked so, so comfortable of Alien Workshop with these ads, and going to have one more try now to perhaps make it three. Yeah, Wild, wild Piggy. I really like the Alien Workshop scout names. They have some interesting aliases on. I, Uber out. Demo gets this dispenser down first. Gun second. Gonna be trapping out this spawn as these players for Plump Corp are kind of stuck on the left corner. Cyrus but, <laughs> Yeah, Cyrus first to fall. Usty chasing down these isolated players. Scout down. It's just this one scout up inside of Plump Corp. But what can they do? Eon trying to go for melee, but they're not even on Uber Saw. So what does it matter? I will say, if Eon was an Uber Saw there, that could have been pretty big. Because Eon was at 80%. Like, one Uber Saw there could have, like perhaps save the scout as well. I don't know, it would, have been, it would have had to be perfect, but wasn't quite there. Obviously, you can always talk about that in, uh, in retrospect in the wonderful uh, world of hindsight, but what my sight is seeing is it's 3 0 up once again. There's still, yeah, 40 minutes left to play, and these bombs onto Eon at the start of these mids have been absolutely ruthless. He's Lucy Dutch, but again, though, this time Lucy decides to land in the cafe and take a fight with Rutsha, and he's actually going to, ooh, just about with it. Air shot. Suki, the one to finish it off. Nice shot for Suki, yeah. Yeah, but looks like the side of Alien Corp just runs away to get healed. Both teams are just healing up, but it's going to be Bump Corp taking the ground, and a dude ran across the platform along with Cyrus getting bombed. Kosuke goes down there and it's going to be these scouts doing so much for Plump Corp. I think yeah, there's a soldier behind. behind. Yeah, yeah. He's bombing in oh, air shot. shot. Actually, really nice shot there onto the scout of Sneaky. We saw two deaths last game. Well, that might be a death to remember getting it plucked out of the sky by that rocket from Yekib and that was the turnaround that Plump Corp really were hoping for. Now they've taken second already. They know that Sneaky's not up yet. It's still a pick advantage, and they're already thinking about building their way into last. They're bombing onto the pipe already. Second jump coming through onto Yusuke, but Yusuke all gets taken down to spam, actually. Okay, maybe there's no thing. Kosuke's behind, getting on the medic, hits one rocket. This medic has Med a drops. gun. Look, he's down. Yekim got in. Yekim got in, kills the medic behind the point. He's huge, he's massive. Pump pop will be walking, using the Uber, there's no need. They're going to cap it up. They're going to get themselves back in this game. Three to one. That's crazy. I was all the way on the other side of the map watching Kosuke trying to force the medic, but what does it matter when... Was it Jekyll who got that dropped? Yeah, he yeah, just got round right to the spawn door, basically. Like, it was all the distraction, right? They had the, the counter sack coming up from uh, up on the pipe as well. There was the bomb was using to rush. It was really, really well played, really well coordinated by those two red soldiers there. Rush and Yekeb just distracting the attention left and right every every second and going in for even more. Still being confident, Yekeb landing straight in front of Tavi. Really, the confidence runs thick through the veins as gets that early kill, but actually. It's Eon, he's the one suffering as Eon goes down. Scout Soldier and Demo is still up. So Lucky not exactly in the safest situation. Two players with him trying to escape back out onto second. Is going to manage it, going to concede mid, but this is going to be a big ad in Alien Workshop. We're going to be happy with this. Yeah, they will be very happy with it. And they're going to be going into the cafe side. Usti goes down to a sticky trap, I believe. Jekyll, Jekyll trying to go valley to behind. And it's actually going to be enough to make Alien Workshop turn around. Yeah, losing a player and there's a threat of a player coming behind as well. And like, Plum Corp, they're, they're thinking about staying in here. They get the use out early as well. And T2 is able to be caught by this. Rush has gone down. Jakob's still in behind, surely getting caught by these spawners though. So it's going to be a, a cost of two players to get that force out. But Eon at 70% is already thinking about walking in and Tabby's caught on the point. Oh, but Eon's yeah. gone down in choke. In choke, Kosuke just finds the perfect time to bomb every time. It seems like there's just never a time for Plump Corp to retain their advantages. Now we're going to see Demo being caught, Cyrus falling. The scouts for Plump Corp are hiding in Valley, and actually this Andage gets the combo scout, trying to chase we'll the medic. medic. Yeah, trying to shoot Lucky, dodging and leaving oh, Uber Saw, though. Oh, it's awkward. Yeah, so we were... 
We were just talking about how the Uber song might have been better for Lucky. Maybe they're listening to the cast. They switched. Yeah, Lucky just able to get that kill with the Ubersaw, like you mentioned though, then two scouts, because there was the bait as well, right? There was Xeri was taken weak, took the fight, and then ran up the other way in the valley, which meant that when the, when the Medan scout came back around the corner, their eyes trained at the other side, and were not aware at all of Andy, but Andy doesn't quite manage to land those shots on Lucky, and Lucky is going to have the Uber charge to run away with and run straight back into Rask, going to be using all but no fans coming through just yet, but space being taken. I was going to look at the Natavi go down as well. Why is falling apart over on Illy Root outside? And maybe at long last, Plum Corp have got an answer to these ambushes. Yeah, Wild Piggy stuck in lower left, trying to just collect all of these health packs. What a menace. They get, they get the kill onto Hexiri. They're fighting. They, they just collected over 200 health and health packs so far, letting them just do whatever they want. And they're getting another. <laughs> That's four packs. <laughs> And leaving the hole because that the worst it was as well. That Andy dude jumped off the cap on second to help out in lobby. But while thinking he's still just running absolutely rampant for so long <laughs> that like Andy dude literally can't even find them. Just running about where's the scout? But which pack are they on now? Gets taken down and the cap hasn't even come through on second. Yeah, it haven't even gotten the cap. The Ubers are even, but they're down too. So Plump Corp might be able to try to punish this if they want to push. It looks like they're sending their scouts through Shutter. Yeah, Everyone's going through Shutter. Jacob did. Jacob did a high bomb, not finding anything though. Tabby, very low health here. Kosuke jumping in. So much chaos by both these teams. Sneaky the Frog though is on spy. Living up to the name again, as we saw before, perhaps. Gonna be sneaking around going for a backup pad going for something in onto Eon, going onto Eon, actually behind, not aware at all. And the sneak is on and the sneak comes good as the drop comes in. Great spy play coming through is Wait. Actually in the meantime, look it gets forced. So maybe it wasn't so great a spy play at the end because they've managed to get themselves in. Yekka gonna be oh. sacking in late as well. This is utter carnage. What on earth is going on? And I dude is behind actually. No one knows. The scout just snuck in, getting onto Lucky, hitting two really good shots. That's medic down. Cyrus dies as well though. Complete chaos here. That scout survived behind. So I I don't know what? if Alien Workshop's gonna be able to do anything here. There's a 1v1 happening on mid. He wins it. What like at and he's like literally seeing what Wild Piggy was doing. He's like, you know what? I'm gonna give a go at that. Just running behind Cafe and everything, getting all the packs. Wait, he's in. He's on the medic again. One v one. No way. There's actually no way. So goes behind enemy valley again. Just and he's just living. Absolutely runs free of the uh, alien works of half of the map. Dragging two players back into blue lobby pretty much. Gets taken down eventually. Look at all the space this is creating. The player down. But it's essentially two down over an alien workshop. Yeah, and so there's a fight on mid happening, but it's Eon died. I didn't see how that happened. And now it's just a disaster for Plump Corp. I, I don't think there's anyone able to do anything now. Yeah, they had a good effort there until Lucky get Lucky down to something in the 20s regarding HP, but yeah, really not good. In the uh, in the sense of losing Eon once more, the uh, the focus has been great over Alien Works and getting on this medic so so often. And the control very good medic was doing well in Prem last season, and it's clearly. That's some sort of match because the coordination has been absolutely on point for Alien Workshop getting in and surprising Eon and so many different scenarios. But now, seeing this defense come good moments ago, will it need to come good again? Uber charge this time coming into the dungeon instead and once more, it's been a while to find that gun and everyone currently turtled up and spawned. Lots of space to kind of make it work. Yeah, they're getting this cap time though as they're turtled in, but they finally make it out and it's going to be the Alien Workshop players falling heavy out, denies Usti from getting on Eon. So, no kills there today, and Plump Corp gonna have add, gonna take the second point. Looks like no off classes yet for the side of Alien Workshop. I thought they might try to pull out the Sniper or Spy, but just keeping it normal. Yeah, Sniper can be so powerful, right, on there. when you're holding mid, when you're expecting a push to come in, because there's that such a nice sight line from the, from the tech, which all the way over to a chosen little head glitch angle that you play, but... No, not going to go for anything of the sort. Eon has an Uber advantage to work with though, and he's going to be walking in through the valley, but has a soldier landing straight in, in the face, but doesn't take any damage at all. Really nice movement there, up onto the lip of that uh, concrete part there in the valley. Stays alive, Kazuki goes down, and now this ad marches on, but actually it's not adding anymore, because Lucky now has the Uber finally. Mm -hmm. And it seems like Eon's aware of this, as his team's not just barreling through the doorways. Going to be equalizing... And it seems like 
they're just gonna try one of their sack plays again. Yeah, well, I guess you'd rather have this sort of stalemate happen on the enemy second rather than your own. It's a bit, a bit easy to work the way in and see what, see what you can get. We, put, we saw before there was like these sacks from Valley coming in where you go like around the right hand side of the, the lighthouse and land him. But this time it looks like both of them over from Chuck and Cafe. Yeah, he's really the one committing hard and maybe in that respawn queue as he's shut down completely by your speed. Yeah, and Cyrus just dies to Usti and Choke. How do they find two? That's crazy. We're going to see Wild Piggy all the way through Valley trying to make some sort of distraction for his team while Sneaky the Frog takes it through Choke. And it's going to be the Uber coming out for Eon first. So slightly better Uber for the side of Alien Corp. They're going to be, or Alien Workshop. They're going to be walking it through. Tavi jumping onto Bell Tower. They're going to be chasing Eon. I don't think these players are escaping. They're all cut off everywhere. Trying to go for Lucky now. But this medic, so slippery. Seems like they're going to survive. Great play there, yeah, like you say, by Lucky. Lucky takes no damage that whole time. Just perfectly evading and great work. Again, Demo Man getting caught is all that it takes, right? If that sack comes in, yet fair enough, we lose one soldier. That was all part of the plan, but the sort of general getting caught to spam just means that that Uber charge has to come in aggressively with Plum Corp. And look how deep into last they are already. Usually already spamming the spawn shutter. They've got a medic still building the lobby. It's only 70%. They've got to be careful. They don't want to overstep too much. They don't have Uber Charge and Lucky just yet, but again, Four minutes left. It's gonna be two rounds back from your own last for uh, for Plum Corp. It's gonna be so so rough. It'll be a miracle if they get back into this. Yeah, it will be a miracle. But we are gonna see this Uber come out. Tavi leading it through, finds the gun this time instantly. That's down, taking it into the left side of the map. These soldiers for Plum Corp try to scatter. Jacob already down, heavy out on point. These other soldier has been caught, so that's both soldiers down. Trade's coming out, but at the end of it, I don't think it's enough. Yeah, again, just 20% short on the Uber charge from Eonic. Terry can't run the point in time. Really nice push there. Coming through from the Alien Workshop, and I believe, mathematically speaking, that might have just secured them an opportunity in that decider match. Four to one, three and a half minutes left. I guess probably technically possible, but... I'm not quite sure we're going to see it happening. Bump caught, they fought valiantly, but it's going to be a whole new level of push it's going to take to get these three rounds back. The wee bomb. Landing onto Lucky, getting a bit of damage, getting it down eventually. Tavi taking weak on the point as well, but there's only three players left alive over on this red side as they're trying to back their way out with Eon and Andy, but. Again, more space you can see from these where you're really rushing for rounds, like it's never going to work out too well. That's another point now they have to cap up. Most of the like, Yossi's actually posted up in the lobby as well, like, Alien works for what they've done and just done. I'm back now. Oh, apparently, I'm, okay. Sorry, I was a uh, bit open. I didn't realize you'd, uh, you'd disappeared. Sorry, I, uh, <laughs> I was leaving a gap and I was like, have I crashed or something? Apparently not. Uh, but apparently, I'm, uh, we're all good. And we are ready now for this Uber charge that Eon kept alive in that mid fight. See what it's worth. And honestly, it's not worth too much by the looks of things. And Lucky is already up to 90%, going to be getting in just a couple of seconds. And it's second point taken as well. And when we said before the start of this round, it was. Probably impossible. I think we are now into mathematical impossibility. As in, if it was scouts, pain trained soldiers, and demos on every point, I think it doesn't happen. So um, we'll just see now. Will it end at four to one, or will Alien work to be able to get that only four fifth round on the board? Four loads getting it. Massive amount of damage there into Eon and force some ten HP. Wanted to hold that for as long as possible. But both soldiers again. You just need to see great coordination once more, getting yet another force out. Yeah, Hexiri on Sniper, though, wasn't able to find the medic to get that drop to try to, you know, claw back some space in this last few moments. So it seems like they're just going to be going back to last, trying to hold it down. Not uh, not going to throw this one away. Absolutely not. And uh, yeah, again, another advantage push that we've seen just a couple of minutes ago. Alien Workshop able to convert one of these. Going to go for it once more. Similar again regarding gun position. Going to take the... Up on the top platform, just trying to get these sticks off the point, see if they can 
pressure better than last time. It seems that actually it used to be going down. The red player is doing a better job of staying alive to previously, but Eon gets caught. That's something, but actually it seems like the aliens, the ones getting mowed down by the heavy, who actually gets a 3k in the push, everyone dying on the blue side, and that will be GG's at 4 to 1. Yeah, as you said, 4 1, hard fought for the side of Plump Corp, but they just unfortunately weren't able to make it. Congratulations to Alien Workshop as we go into these last moments. Demo bombing in. No fragment moment there. I was worried Cyrus was about to catch up. Unfortunate air shot. Managed to avoid it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but great performance from, uh, from Alien Workshop. And yeah, congratulations to Plum Corp as they're going to be sent down into the uh, the depths of Div 1 for this upcoming season. And uh, I don't know if and, um, and Hector may have been on the team as well. At that point, they had a... Uh, a run upset a few seasons back in uh, in Prem qualifiers, getting into Prem for the uh, the winter season of last year, but not going to happen this time as uh, yeah, falling down into the uh, into the bottom of the lower bracket is going to send them into Div One. But yeah, change of fortunes there for Alien Workshop. They only got one round in the first game against Nandem, but now quality performance tonight, and they're going to have one more stab. We don't know who against yet. It's going to either be against Nandem or Skedder, whoever loses that game, and whoever that's getting organised for, probably tomorrow, day after, I don't know. Um, we'll see who their opponent is going to be. But yeah, what a performance this game from uh, from Alien Works. So we're getting some uh, some logs on our uh, screen, just coming through right now. We'll see if there's another... Okay, 25 and 12. Maybe that's what it was last time. Maybe it was 25 and 12, just that the logs hadn't put the one in. That, that's what I'm going to I'm gonna quote to myself. But no, again, great performance again. Sneaking Yusti again, as with last map. They're the two sort of uh, standing atop in the, in the statistics department. But yeah, great performances all round over on the Alien Workshop side. I want to I shout out from this onto, onto Cyrus as well, coming in as a, a literal mid-game demo replacement. Obviously coming in literally in the middle of Gully Wash, but um, I thought I had a, a pretty good game. Uh, like, because obviously there's getting caught out a couple of times, but that always happens with the demos when you're getting focused so hard by two good soldiers. But really nice players, some big, uh, big multi-frag moments and some big damage numbers has all been put out by Cyrus. So yeah, I really respect coming in as a sub and uh, doing that is uh, really good work. Yeah, never easy to replace, as you mentioned multiple times. I agree with that completely. But this game, you know, on Gully Wash, there was a clear MVP. On this one, though, I don't think I could assign one. Everyone kind of pulled their weight, that's for sure, on the side of Alien Workshop. Plump Corp as well seems similar. Yeah, it's... it's I, I'm going to sort of maybe go off the wall with this one. I'm, I'm, I'd probably give it to Lucky. Just because of the amount of situations where Lucky was able to come alive. We've got the, uh, the medic logs on now just... Like just being able to stay alive and just survive in some in like great scenarios means that yeah like fourteen uber charges used to seven, it it makes all the difference in these pushes and yeah just being able to hold on and just being not necessarily the right position to to go for some like crazy serve or some crazy dodge but just consistent intelligent play with positioning as for yeah was great all all game long and yeah in gully wash as well but it, I think it shone through particularly well in sunshine. Right, well, we will um, we'll be leaving it here. As I said before, I'm not entirely sure when that Nandem against uh, Skedder game will be occurring, but that will be one where the winner will be going straight up into Prem, and we will now know the loser will be playing as Alien Workshop for that final spot in the top division of European Team Fortress 2. So stay tuned. It will be on Essentials again pretty soon in the next couple of days for some more action. But commiserations to Plum Corp for their season in Div 1. But for the rest of us, Thank you for being here and come back for some more Prem Qualifier action. See you there.